No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. And today we're back. Band Gang Lonnie and Band Gang Mazo. 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 Yeah. I'm from the East Coast. <laughs> Might take me a little while to get used to put that. I that shit in my bio. <laughs> like how to style my name. I'm right. Like, nobody get my shit right. And now. I keep forgetting if there's an N or not in the middle of it. Nah. People get Meso. Mm. You know? That's what they and always say. That's Meso. what they always say. Meso right there. How'd you get that rap name anyway? My man used to call me Maserati Rick. Uh-huh. Instead of calling you Maserati, he just shortened it up like Mazo. Okay. And I just, you know, ran with it. Like, yeah, that's cool. When did you get down with Band Game? Uh, damn, like. 2014, 13. Like, 2013. That long? Like, yeah. it wasn't like get down with Band Game. Yeah. Just like, we all, we all, like, grew up on the same two blocks, technically. Right. And it just, like, it just happened. That's crazy you've been fucking with them for that long and you've been around it and the, your music is just popping off now, though. Yeah. No, I been actually, it's just popping off again. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah oh, you had a wave before the shit. wave? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. We started doing the research, wave. Adam. I thought you started doing your the research. Wave. I know, but I just felt like he's blowing up right now more than yeah, like before. More than is that ever. fair? I mean, it is. Time. You it had is. M's before? What? Like, Do you count? Hell, fuck yeah. Oh, shit. I don't know. Come on, man. We what, started what year are we shit. talking it, the year that we just told you, and every year after that, you know, mm, okay. we've been doing this shit. We I just feel like your shit has been a, a separate wave that has started recently. Yeah. I don't know if I'm out of That's turn by saying now that. I'm, I'm starting shit now, right? You know, I'm starting shit with niggas now, like. That's why it's that's always gonna sell faster than a nigga just doing him. Mm. Like I'm starting shit with niggas now. That's what I'm doing. Fuck you. Right. Yeah. Damn. Damn. The aggression is the is is what's doing it. That's mm. what you account for it. I felt like it was just coming up because the music's hard. But if you want to tell me that it's all because of beef, I'm willing to accept that. My shit been hard, you know? (laughs) My shit been hard. But you feel like people didn't pay attention until you started going at people? No, they paid attention. It just, you know, everything come to an end, you know? Like, it's new niggas coming out every day. Right. So it's like, it's kind of hard to just keep going at the same pace when it's new niggas coming out. You feel me? Like, it never would just end it, like, washed or nothing. It just died down a little bit. I okay. Earlier, I spent a little while scrolling through your Instagram, and I just like saw over the course of the past few years that the view counts have just really, really climbed a lot. Mm-hmm. So I didn't want to make it sound like you just started rapping, man. But no, I, I was that. just saying. <laughs> I've seen. I was like going through it, going back, and like all of a sudden, it's like a thousand views or a couple thousand views, yeah. and now it's like hundreds of thousands. I'm like, wow, that's crazy. Like that's yeah. a fucking. It's like, weird to look back through that enough. and see that, dude. Yeah, it do, it do, it do. It be like that. And I'm not a Instagram nigga. Like, mm-hmm. I don't be on Instagram a lot. Like I'm I'm working on that though. Right. Like, get more active on my Instagram, but I I don't really fuck with Instagram like yeah, that. Yeah, no, she just posts video clips for the most yeah, part. Yeah, because you know, it, niggas go to jail from Instagram. What, sure. what's it like? What's your relationship with Lonnie like? It's my brother. Like my mama had him. But do you think he's kind of a dick? I mean, yeah, you gotta be a dick. What you mean? So you Adam, a dick, you think you a I'm bitch. a dick? No, I don't think so. You had to. Do but you have that. a surly demeanor. If you not a dick, you a bitch. In this no, world. I got, I got, uh, I got yeah. dark sarcasm. Mm, me too. Right. And that's why a lot of so people get wrong about me. I'm just yeah. blunt. I just say shit exactly how it comes to my head. I do that, but I say shit worse than how it comes to my head. I say things I don't even mean that just sound crazy for humor and a lot of people. And but try not to indicate that I'm fucking around. But if you know me. You would know I'm more than a dick than he is. Really? Because he would think it. I would say it. You know, he will say it too. If he really just not feeling you all the way, he will just hold hey, the fuck out yell you. it in your face. You yeah. seem like you have a friendlier demeanor than him. Yeah, right now. Because we, we, we <laughs> just you do met an interview? today. <laughs> you know, we just met today. Right. I ain't gonna Tomorrow, lie, Adam. I, I just don't hold. like that fake shit, Adam. There's too much fake shit going on in the world right now. I hate that fake ass shit. Mm. Yeah, but tomorrow, Adam, I might hold you. Because we cool, dog. Nah. I can just hold you. Hold me, hold, hold me. Yeah, you know. And Detroit terminology. How you gonna hold me? In Detroit like, terminology. Friendly uh, hold you. You know, mm. like, like like don't take it personally. An asshole. How y'all say? But you gonna Super run asshole. up behind me and smack the back of my neck or something? I might do that. Damn. Too. I ain't gonna lie. That sound fun. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't do that in high school. Yeah, we do that now, man. What oh. the fuck are you talking about? Dude, Adam? there's a rapper in LA that like a video came out of that happening to him in high school, and everybody's kind of trying to act like it should be. Who the rapper? Like, I see that. I don't even remember, honestly, you and I wouldn't fuck. say if I, I remembered. <laughs> you know, I, I honestly this, can't man. remember. I just saw it and was like, oh shit. I think that, but that shit when you know that shit, bro. I just feel like I high school. One thing man. I can, one thing you know, being in the streets, a nigga can be a pure bitch as a kid. 
one day he'll just not take shit no more and kill everybody. Right. So you can't just think a nigga a bitch because he was a bitch then. I mean, man. look at these school shooters. Yeah. No. They get made fun of for 15 years and then they bring the fucking Glock to school and they yeah. blow the teacher down. Look at these little ass kids with all these, you feel me, all these guns. They probably was bitches in eighth grade. Mm -hmm. Now they in 10th grade. They're killing shit. You right. Know? Like, that's how it goes. You got hands, though? I beat your ass for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie, you got hands still, or or, or is that over with? Yeah. Fuck you, you mean is that over with? No, oh, people don't fight like, no more, right? No, niggas don't fight no. no more. No, niggas still beat your ass though. Mm. No fake. You gotta man. think about that. That's the what we started off. And you of, better let me ass. win. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody in band gang gotta let you win. Are you like the president? You said everybody in band we, don't, we ain't fight we each don't other. Fight you guys don't other. fight. It's not like we we arguing. We don't don't blow. Listen, I got a lot of rapper friends who would like. We don't treat this. Shit they're like, proud not, of the fact that they will fight each other. We not LA gang fight each other. They just like have a squabble in the backyard to get over your problems with each other. I know it doesn't make sense to me either. It will. It happened before. I fight you. I fight my big brother all the time. Really? Like, it would happen, but we ain't just. I'm about to beat your ass. Like, uh, with you, okay, so with your brother that you've been around since you were a fucking baby, it feels kind of more natural to just start fighting. Yeah, mm. siblings always gonna fight. Like, yeah. I call my sister right now. We just argue. I don't have a brother, so, so I can't I really get imagine. Into it with him, <laughs> you, you don't love me if we don't get into it. No, mm. for sure. You just don't fuck with me. I if feel like you're trying to pull a wool over my shit if we don't get into it. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. But what if you like meet a homie like tomorrow? Like you're not gonna just start fighting them like a week later, right? I just told you. I just met you today. Tomorrow I'm on your ass. Man, you think we friendly like that? We have a homie today, and he just <laughs> next thing I know, it don't work like cool that. Now. Right. So Lonnie, mm -hmm. I feel like you are like low key mad at me, but if you want to admit it or not, because I had somebody that you do not care for on this podcast. I just felt oh. gonna be bad about that. I don't know. I just felt like he was feeling away. And did you see I brought up your name awkwardly? He he mentions Alani. I didn't watch that shit, bro. Oh, you didn't see we it? Don't give no attention he mentions Alani no and I go, Bang Gang Lani. He's he just about? laughs. Nah. Even know know Key. Who the fuck the is that? Dude, your single's about him. We don't even know him. His, his, his name's in the song. I just made a nigga name. I'm just made a song with, about a nigga name that. Well, there's some other people named Key too that you should probably be worried about because they're gonna think it's about them. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Fuck him. So you don't care that I interviewed crazy. him? I thought no. didn't you DM me and said he was a bitch or something. What? What? Okay. Should we, we should we edit that out? That. <laughs> we don't care you about You said that. something to me. Fucking DMs. Okay. You want me to check? You said something man. about that. Man. Oh man. We don't care about that nigga. Maybe you got your Instagram deleted. My Instagram to leave. No, you just no, slow it's still as hell, around. boy. <laughs> right, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to find it. I'm going to find it like so fast. No, we don't get mad about that shit. What you mean? How are we going to get mad about that? Mm. This is your job. Look at this. Okay. This is what you get paid to do. I lied. It's not in there. It might have been somebody else. No, I was I was on tip with you because you, you ain't you ain't never like answer my phone calls and shit. Like, what? No, yeah. no fake. That's what you I don't even there. think I have your number. I Dang. can search my phone right no, now. No, you don't now. Because I didn't change the number 10 times. Oh, see, he said, well, what you, you mean? Yeah. Answer the call. Your I, don't pick up, I don't pick up He's random numbers. You. I got too many weird people trying to holler at me. This I can't do it. blocking you. No, you man. Block. 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 This nigga crazy. He you probably sent me a virus or something. You know how that, you know how this how Hollywood should be? Nigga <laughs> blocking fast as hell. You think I went Hollywood since the last time you seen me? <laughs> you Hollywood. You got rich as hell. What happened? I don't even see you play with the little boy no more. No, thank you. Go back to the boy here, Adam. man, this nigga tweaking. Bring the bald head back? Yeah. Mm. The skateboard Adams. Yeah. Everyone thought I was a Nazi. You a porn star now? That shit mm. crazy. Yes. Only fans took over your life. You be I watching? I'm gonna tell you about that. Fuck, fuck no. no. What? Why do every fuck? fucking podcast you do? You talk blank, about it. Why would I watch any dude fuck? That's all you talk about. There's girls there too. I ain't trying Let to watch no shit on your chest, I want to watch You're bitches tripping, fuck with bitches. Oh really? Yeah. I hate lesbian porn. That's not for me. <laughs> you weird. I can't fuck with that shit. <laughs> not lesbian. I'm talking they got to be doing bitches. something. If there's no dick, it's like Mas. what? What's the plot Mas. line? What's Mas, they got I'm it. I'm not watching it. They got it. The you they watching got it. The <laughs> they got it. I've been it. like that since way before the porno days. So listen, this what I'm into. This what I'm gonna tell you here. Yeah. If you watching porn for dick, you in trouble. Well, like you a nasty guy. motherfucker. You so fuck. you think it's gay to watch a girl suck a dick? I'm not saying it's no, gay because I don't got nothing against gay though. people. But I'm just saying you need to reevaluate your life <laughs> if you watching porn for dick. I'm gonna let you know that. Well, now. when you put it like that, mm -hmm. 
God damn it. That's what I'm saying. I'm not You're right. saying you're, you're gay or nothing. You do seem like an asshole kind of. <laughs> I'm, saying, I'm just saying. I'm not saying You've you're convinced gay. me you're just as much of an asshole nothing. as Lonnie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying you gay because I don't mess shit against nobody. We ass gay. Yo, niggas just sensitive. That's it. Mm. See how you cool laughing about it and nigga get... Oh yeah, I don't give a fuck. That. Yeah, yeah. You can call me gay. Yeah, you ain't got no, you ain't got no emotion, no feelings. You all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fuck so many bitches, my heart doesn't turn cold. You know? Yeah. yeah. You Your dick go turn cold in a minute. Your dick go turn hot. No, that happened a couple weeks ago. I got that tuned right back up. We good. You crazy? Had a little drip. Two weeks. I didn't care. I had a little drip. That's why you got to slow down. Only fans. Not like what Gunner's talking about either. I was really dripping, bro. Damn. We ain't, we ain't even tripping about that. What's the next Change question? The, 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 What's the, going the, on in man. Detroit? I feel like you know there's there's a lot of smoke. There's a lot of contentious behavior going on. People putting out diss songs like the person sitting across from me. What's going on? What, what what's happening? It didn't used to be like this. Everybody got along until like the other day, right? I turned that shit up. Man, it was so mm. crazy. That's, That's what, what you think though. That means you ain't listening to the music. No, just no. Kidding. But niggas do act like that sometimes. But it, that's what you but we ain't beefing with nobody. We ain't mm. into it with nobody. We don't have no problems or nothing. You feel me? Okay. We ain't got no problems. But you would think niggas like each other. Niggas mm. would act like they like each other. But hate each other. Niggas do songs together. You guys really like don't act other. like you like the people that I'm pretty sure you don't like. You That's make it pretty clear that you don't like who you don't like. No, nah, we actually don't like nobody. We just, you know. It's just for fun? It's just wrestling? We like it. We cool with a couple niggas, though. But we really don't like nobody for real. But we cool with a couple niggas, though. Like that rap and do music. We fuck with them. It- Oh, we got somebody on the couch offering yeah, up. Yeah, we know. definitely don't know him. That's what it is. You we don't, don't know. know you. We don't really fuck with so you. So you, you rap even with people that you never really met in real life? I mean... But it's I people talking beefing. shit, right? Yeah, but I ain't rap beefing with a nigga. Right. None of that. I feel like the latest single really kind of flies in the face of that. That's real shit. Yeah. Adam, the biggest fans. Saying, Adam, fuck yeah. There's some fans, Straight man. Straight up. There's some fans. That's all that last single saying. Fuck yeah. You know, that's what you got out of it. A fuck a nigga whole shit up, you know? Mm. I don't gotta make a million songs about a nigga. One of them bitches is gonna do that. And that's what it did. You know, that's what it's gonna do. Always. Mm. If I ever decide to address anything, I'm gonna finish it right there. So he doesn't wanna sign because he doesn't wanna be close to you. Mm. What do you mean by that? Because if you sign to the same nigga, y'all gotta be next to each other. But you're signed to 42 Doug? I ain't signing nobody right now. I heard you were signing a little baby. I ain't signing nobody right now. You having conversations with little baby though? Yeah, it's my boy. How'd you meet him? Through Doug. Mm. What's you and Doug's relationship like? Cool. You know him for a while? Nah, not for a while, but I know him though. Not for a long time though. Interesting. And so what? Has baby pulled up on you or just talking FaceTime and shit? Mm-hmm. Just talking for real. I ain't get the chance to pull up on him. It feels like, I mean, Doug is super talented. Yeah. But that baby bringing Doug out wave fucking helped him explode. Yeah, that's what it's gonna do though. Yeah. That's what that's gonna do. This is the biggest artist in the world. If he brung out a kid today, that is he gonna blow up. Like that's what that's gonna do. And if you kind of sweet, like if you good, it's gonna do what it do for real. Like if you if you really hard with the shit. And the biggest thing in the world bring you out. That's what that's gonna do. He seemed like baby seems like he has a crazy ear for talent. He was fucking with ESTG before, like super early. I mean, when you doing this shit, it ain't really nothing to even look for. You know who got it and who don't. Mm-hmm. Like when you doing it, you know a nigga who got it. Definitely. What's it like as Bang Gang to see the Detroit scene overall just blow up over the last couple of years? We're proud of that shit, shit. Lit, bro. No faking. That's what we been trying to do, though. You know, mm-hmm. like we was one. Of, I ain't gonna say the first artist. We was one of the first artists to travel with this shit. Like, when people are willing to give a an accurate history of the music that influenced them and shit, yeah, it's always like pretty early on in the history of what made them attracted to making music. Bang Gang has always kind of come up as the early. Template yeah. for how this was gonna go. Yeah, no faking. So we for the new generation, we just set the blueprint for the new generation in Detroit. Yeah. 
But do you yep. feel do you feel like you get the credit you deserve? You feel like your name d- gets left out sometimes. Hell Nobody yeah. get the credit they deserve. No. No. All, none mm. of the great niggas get the, what they really deserve until they done with it. Right. You know. Then they say get the reminiscing like, damn, they was really that. You know, like it really be these old niggas just be hating on us because they don't know we, when we first started. We was kids. Mm. Niggas ten years older than us. Yeah. And they scary. And we will <laughs> beat they ass one on one. Yeah. Anybody. Oh, so we throwing hands again. All right. Uh, I just told you what happened. <laughs> and they still the beat your ass. When's the last time friend. you had a fight? I mean, I fight all the time. I got a bitch. <laughs> what? what you talking about? She'll attack you? She will blow my shit up. Your girl will blow your shit up? Nah, she's peaceful. You need to leave her. Yeah? She don't love she you. She don't care. She don't love you. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I'm thankful. I need. I got. I got a hot temper, bro. I don't, I don't need a girl who's gonna be fucking trying to push me to the limit. Hey, you can't get to the limit if you ain't. Get, if you get to the limit with your girl, you're not a cool dude, bro. Right. <laughs> you know, you can get over the limit, but not too over. The I gotta limit. push her harder. Nah, <laughs> Just tell her that bitch. I will fuck you up and end it. No, he gonna be like fucking killing you. What? Yeah. <laughs> what do you ain't do when really your girl killer. attacks killer. you though? Like, really kept, don't kill her. You Adam. turn into Floyd Mayweather, or are you going to like? defense guy where you, you just grab a wrist and you're controlling no nah, you go you turn up like dmx on her ass oh my god and that's gonna, <laughs> that's, gonna, that's, gonna get, that's gonna end it <laughs> if you turn up on her ass it's over man you, know, you gotta turn up life advice oh, from the band gang yeah tell me god damn if more people thought like us they'd be farther in life i feel like a lot of people think like you in that regard i know a lot of guys who beat their bitch up like it's a hobby no i don't Punch her out. You can't do that. I don't really. Honestly, I've stopped fucking with people because, like, I had a party one time and this dude was at the party and he was beating the shit out of his girl, I guess, in the other room. I really couldn't fuck with him after that. I was like, bro, that's some weird ass shit. Let's make this clear. One thing, one situation I would beat a bitch up in is if they jump in my bitch. Then mm, yeah, yeah. I'm beating hoes up. Protect your bitch at all costs. <laughs> Punching hoes out. Hell yeah. That's all it is to it. You get a pass right there, real yeah. quick. Hell yeah. Punching hoes out. If you don't, you a bitch. Damn. Yeah, yeah you got to do it. Mm-hmm. But what if your girl's like in the UFC and she don't need your help? You want to just give her a clean W? You still got to help. Or you a bitch. You talking about your girl in the UFC? <laughs> <laughs> like, that's a realistic, likely scenario. Nobody want to. High test, test around ass on. Yeah. Those bitches cocky. I like a girl who keeps her hair in cornrows all the time so she's ready to scrap. So you need to get a black girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, that is where that kind of leads you. Yeah. yeah you know, you well, that a racist girlfriend. joke? No. All right. But you look at the UFC girls, they all have their hair like that. And <laughs> then you watch girls see. fight on World Star, <laughs> and they're just yanking each other's hair out. Like, that's the whole fight. <laughs> that's why they got the gloves for all they mm. grabbing. Oh, that's they a good alive. point, too. Yeah. Oh, tough as hell. Yeah. I don't care about no hair in them hoes getting knocked out. I, know, I, I pop one, one of them hoes. I ain't fight one of them hoes. But you ever watch the women's division and just wonder, like, if you could beat their ass? I know we. I know <laughs> I damn near can't. You're going to have to pop one of them hoes. They like boxers. Right. Them hoes will put you to sleep. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But, you know, there's, there's weight classes. It's like you're a grown-ass man. If she's, like, 120 pounds. I man, mean, listen. She will put you to sleep still. Mm. Yeah. So you think you could beat up a motherfucking female UFC fighter? Yeah. Maybe in like the lowest the weight division. Nigga I don't know. In boxing to beat the shit out of you. Oh hell yeah, dudes, yes. Women too in UFC. Probably not just boxing. I'm talking about UFC, like a blood cage. They yeah, them bitches will kill you. Do you think you? I don't know. I just feel like I know some people who are like reasonably tough without being the UFC, and that right. their size and strength would overcome. The fact that they have much better technique. Yeah, everybody's tough. Unless they hit you with a heel tough. hook. Everybody tough till it's time to be tough. What's we'll the heel? We'll see some shit change. Where they're cranking your fucking ankle back, and you have to tap out because your ankle's gonna fucking rip to shreds, and then you're all that to, count. They you can won't choke walk your for ass months. Out too. Yeah, all that counts in a fight. It's if no she gets rules. your back, <laughs> you might be fucked. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, but enough about beating women. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, crazy as hell, bro. Lonnie's like, I thought this was a normal interview. This is though. Yeah, nah, this is the best interview. Nobody does it like this. Mm. Nobody hey, talks hey. about this random of shit. Adam, you gotta take your glasses off. Oh, why? I ain't never seen you with your glasses off. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, you look totally different. There's an interview on the channel <laughs> with me and cool you. No more. You he ain't said, cool no more. What if I got hoodie on you? He said to see his eyes, you gotta go on OnlyFans. Mm-hmm. That's what my OnlyFans is. It's just pictures of my beautiful blue eyes. Report your shit. 
Yeah, for what? <laughs> we just had a girl on here who got banned off OnlyFans because she fucked herself with a beer bottle. What? You're not allowed to fuck yourself with non-sex objects. So you need to stop. Because I don't. Do, what am I fucking with? <laughs> but you know what that means is don't do the cucumber she challenge. She took the beer bottle. What, what part of the beer bottle? I don't know. I didn't ask. Yeah, I hope it wasn't a forty. <laughs> <laughs> it probably was Fuck with these bitches It was a 40 <laughs> On the plastic oh ones Oh my god Yeah, yeah but she got banned <laughs> off OnlyFans I never even heard of that Yeah they so was about to shut that shit down You're not allowed back on the platform They was about to shut the whole OnlyFans down You was panicking I was mm. on your page Like this nigga Adam scared as hell They about to shut down OnlyFans You yeah. scared I seen you <laughs> Yeah <laughs> Scary times you know We're yeah. gonna have to switch platforms Take a take a hit to the, the income for a little while You know It would've sucked you be eating off OnlyFans, huh? Let's not talk about it. No, you go crazy. Oh, that's Let's talk not about talk about it. it. Yeah, it's a right. whole thing. Let me look yeah. at my interview question so I can turn this into more of a real interview. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to talk about that dollars. They can get on your way. First question already accomplished. Lonnie, you were mad at me. Uh, whatever. Um. Oh, yeah, just in general. Do you think I'm too deep in the streets? you think we're getting too political on here? What, on, on his, what's his name? Oh, no jumper. I don't know. A lot of people, especially about LA shit, will be like, Adam, you're talking to people about, you know, street shit. You're talking about gang shit. You're getting too deep in it. You, you're out of your fucking depths, bro. But can't nobody mad at you when, when niggas on the internet talking about it. That is a good point. And it's your job. Mm. If a nigga and don't want to hear about that, they shouldn't come on. Here. But I could interview anybody and I could talk about anything. I could have you guys on here and we could talk about what our favorite foods are. I don't have to ask you about ops. Yeah, Although that is kind of what a lot of music is about. So, that's you know. what all this shit is about. Mm. Like we wouldn't be here right now if I wouldn't talk about that. Cause I let's just be real. I've been seeing your shit forever. I ain't been on there before this. I have a good friend Alex from yeah. Ain't Nobody Cool. He hit me up. He said, "When Lonnie comes to do the interview, how you feel about having Mazo on there too?" Mm -hmm. And uh, he explained. He said, "Baby's trying to sign him. His music's going crazy. Yeah. He beefs with Key. Yeah. He's fucking blah blah blah." So I was introduced to it as just that being one of the things that made you mm -hmm. interesting. But I was also like, "Oh, baby, fucking with him. Okay, let's check this out. Listen yeah. to music. Thought it was hard. Yeah. So don't reduce me to just no, a pure beef that. mongerer." But that boosted it up, though. Yeah, but Adam, you told me yourself that you used to always listen to the band game. I do. I still listen to your shit. So how you ain't know who he was? I did. I just didn't think that his interview time necessarily until yeah. my homie put me on and said, look, he's doing M's. Yeah. And he talking about some shit. Mm. So, you know, he beefing. So get him on here real quick. You know? I mean, shit, you wouldn't have talked about it in the song if you didn't want people to talk That's about the I'm fact saying. that you were talking about it in the song. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Hmm. I knew that was going to happen, though, you know? So I could see all the niggas who wasn't fucking with me, now they fucking with me, though. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, not even in it. I don't take it personal either because you got to be doing something to fuck with people for real. Like, you can't just be saying, nobody ain't fucking with me, but you ain't doing shit. You mm -hmm. feel me? Like, so it ain't personal. I just know I got to stay turned. That's it. Let's go. And now we're on No Jumper. Mm -hmm. Let's make the best of this opportunity while we have 4 million people watching us. No okay. cap. And we on fire, man. Our Detroit resume right now is kind of lit. That Peasy interview, yeah. flame emoji. Yeah, Peasy. Shout out to Peasy too. He be shouting us out in a lot of interviews and, and all type of shit though. Shout out to Peasy too for that. V's interview? Yeah. I gotta watch that one. I ain't I ain't get to that one yet. Gotta watch. I be seeing clips and shit on Instagram. That's a cool cat person. right there. Yeah, for sure. Mm, definitely. Who you guys really fuck with out of Detroit musically? Who, who's the shit that you listen to? Uh. I listen to our shit for real. Mm. Yeah, I listen to our shit. Most I listen of the time. to I listen to Ray. I don't listen to myself. Mm. I listen to our music, but I don't like listening to my songs like as much as I listen to his or Bigs. You feel me? Or Why? Jafar. When you hear your own verse over and over, you start to like be critical of it and think like, ah, I, I can just do feel better. Like that's corny. Mm. The fuck, I made it. I know what it sound like. What the fuck, I gotta keep riding around banging it all day for? Mm. Put it out, like. If you want people to listen to it, put it out. Then I like your reaction. But after you record it, you don't fucking listen to it a couple times. Yeah, or listen day. to it to figure out what you think of it. Yeah, that day. Mm. And then I record the next day and make some harder shit. Then I'm listening to that for that day. Then go record again. Like that day, you can't. You gotta have a short memory in this shit. Mm. You know, or especially you'll get like you satisfied. How many songs y'all making a night in the studio? 
you, I don't know. Me personally, nah, I just make like one or two songs and take my time with it, nah. But mm. I usually yeah. just make like five, six, seven, depending on how long they get in the studio. I just met with Capital. We had a six hour block. We did seven songs in that bitch in six hours. That's what's up. Because when we be together, it'd be different too. It'd be a whole different vibe. So you feel me? We we off each other's energy. So that shit mm. just happened quick. Mm hmm. Makes sense. Hard shit too. Mm. Not just no, you know, hard shit too. Like real songs for sure. Right. Definitely. Um, okay. Lonnie, this is one thing I wanted to ask you. They sent me a press release about you, and I'm reading through it. And at one point in the press release, it says that you lost it all. You feel like along your, your come up, you lost it all at certain times or at a time. What was that in reference to? It was going on in real life. Yeah, like what, what, what did that refer to? Like I, a lot of people go to jail and die for real. That's the, the main thing that was referring to? Yeah, it was referring to life. Mm. At what time did you feel like you really started to feel like that? Shit, like the beginning of the 2020. Really? And like nigga had the most money I ever had in my life too. So it wasn't no money like lost. It was like real life shit. Really? Yeah. Damn. Is that that's around the time you got shot too? No, I got shot last year. Okay. What happened in that situation? I shit. They got shot in Vegas. Yeah, where where were you at though? Riding around the niggas got the shooting. <laughs> That's it. It happened while you were driving? You weren't parked? Riding around and niggas got to shooting, Adam. You just heard about it or you were around? Hey, I don't know nothing. He was just riding around and a nigga got to shooting, bro. Right. We don't know no ex like no details of the shit. Like, Who you got problems with in Vegas, though? I ain't got problems with nobody. So it was random? He's a rapper. Right. You know? A nigga might think you looked at a bitch wrong and want to do something to you. Mm. He a rapper, man. That's what happens when you one of the littest niggas in the world. You feel me? Shit like that might happen. Niggas hate rappers. Right. You know that. Damn. Don't be a rapper, I guess. You don't. don't <laughs> you don't want to get shot at. No. You feel me? Sweet Jesus. That's scary. Okay. So I guess that's all we're... Uh, getting out of that yeah. um what's going on with the lean you slow down or is it still going what you mean what's going on with the lean? <laughs> like you know me for i just wondering like you know you don't have it with you right now a lot of times rappers you've definitely pulled up on me with a large amount of lean before yeah, i don't drink lean every day not every day once in a while yeah when they go when they get high i used to sip every day though I don't sip no more though. How many years did you do that for? Man, since I was a kid. I sip lean since I was a kid. Damn. I see Lonnie with the water. Yeah, he drink water more than anything. I know, there's a lot of rappers really getting on the water wave. Yeah. No pun intended. You need to get on this shit too, Adam. I got hella water. Look at me. Look, you see how crunchy this gallon is? Yeah. I had like a permanent gallon, but I broke it the other day. You just said you had to go get that drip fix. You washing out all that medicine you took. They shot up in you. That's already gone. I'm clean as a whistle, huh. buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you walk around here with that dev stick you playing. You should see my latest work, bro. I got some fire, fire candidates that have uh, been dealt with recently. Man, I bet they is fire, literally. I, I just had a girl who, uh, she's from West <laughs> Africa. Yeah. She says she's from where Akon from. Yeah. <sighs> Definitely fire. We went crazy. That's the one who got you. <laughs> nah. She definitely nah. fire. Nah, she just chilled. That was after. <laughs> <laughs> How well, dare you? <laughs> I'm telling you, you can't keep shit too real with me. You know? For sure. Um, okay. What's going on? I'm, I'm thinking about who you're connected with out here in L.A. What's going on Ice Burgundy? You still hang out with him? Yeah, that's my big bro. It said you met him pimping in Texas? Yeah. Explain. You already had this explanation on our last interview. Did I? It's been a while. 
You sound like the police, bro. <laughs> If it was back in the day, then who cares? Hey, the question you didn't ask me to been like a detective coming to oh, ask come me what the on. fuck. It's all shit that has come been on. said you in other you interviews. Get life or... for pimping. Really? Hell, fuck yeah. That's just for future races. Don't ever ask nobody about pimping. <laughs> <laughs> for real. If he decide to tell you that, you you tell you go ahead. You know, elaborate on it. But how is it possible that you could get life for it, and that we talked about it on your last interview? No, I'm saying it, but don't keep talking about it. Now you're gonna have to keep a nigga like, oh, he really doing this for real, actively right now. Right. You know? Yeah. One of my yeah. memories, though, of of the last time that we did that interview was that you had a dude with you who was wearing a fucking dinosaur costume. Yeah, he can't do that bitch trip. Man. What, <laughs> yeah, what was that? That's the person who directed Kong School Island. He did it to be funny because he knew you was going to, you feel me? He got mad at me because I guess I, when I shook his hand to meet him, I didn't look him in the eye. See, niggas don't like that fake shit. But, I mean, to be fair, he was wearing a dinosaur costume. I just feel like the rules are kind of different when gotta, someone's wearing a dinosaur hey, costume. You look at everybody in the That's eye. how That's you going to get, get the wool that. pulled right over your yeah. shit. You got a lot of homies who wear dinosaur costumes, no. or it's just like a one-time thing? A nigga might have on a clown suit for the day, and you don't or even know. Or a monkey know. suit, and he going to be on your ass. You don't even him. know. He a clown without the suit. If you got down with the insane clown posse instead of the band gang. No. No? It wasn't a possibility. He said the what? That's. That's real. Det- I feel like ICP doesn't get enough respect in the history of Detroit. Yeah. Because realistically, probably you guys never listened to them, but they were very yeah. influential and they have big, the insane clown posse. Not to Detroit, though. Right. That got to be a whole nother world. Probably Michigan. Mm. Probably Michigan. Detroit is a small area. It's big, but it's small. Like, it's big, but small. Like, we don't claim everything as Detroit. Right. You know, Certain, you know right? what was trippy, though, is I, I had ICP in here. And then Babytron pulls up, yeah. and Babytron said, my dad was signed to your fucking label. Because Babytron from Ypsilanti. Mm. You know, he not, he, I mean, he, he, that's my boy, he cool for sure. But mm. you know, he ain't from Detroit, like, it's a specific area. But that was trippy. He's talking to fucking ICP saying, I, I was at your crib when I was a little kid. Mm-hmm. That's, that's raw, though. That's, that's Detroit raw. history right yeah, there. Yeah, it is. Legendary shit. That's raw for sure. Mm, shitty boys. Shout out to the shitty boys. Shout out Shout to out the to shitty boy, boys. Baby Tron, man. Shitty boys. Yeah. Um, they going crazy. Oh, my God. I wanted to ask you about the ESTG feature. How did that come about? Shit. I got the feature. We handle business. How you know him, though? I don't know him. Don't you don't know him? You just did a song together? No, nah, just know him through, you feel me? It's business. We doing music. Right. Were you a fan of him yeah. going into it? That's one of my favorite rappers. Really? You ever been to Louisville? Yeah. How was that? A lot. He told me his neighborhood is those kids walking around with machine guns. It's bull in Louisville. I ain't never really just went out there hanging, you feel me, but I done been there. Was it the same I deal? I had a lot of shows in Louisville. Same deal with Big 30, or you know him better? I don't know. I don't know nobody... Other than us, really like that. You feel me? It's music. Mm-hmm. I really don't know him. Interesting. Um, yeah. Are you signed to a label at this point? No. You're not. So you're putting all this shit together yourself? Yeah, me and my big brother. What, uh. Like when you go look at the shit, it's like TF Entertainment slash Anti Media. Mm-hmm. That's my shit. Right. So you handle everything on yourself with your brother, and are, are you thinking about signing to a label? Or are you are you trying to go to that level? If it makes sense. You still having those meetings and shit? He just said he was meeting with Capital. <laughs> he was with me. If I have a meeting, he got a meeting. Really? You signed him? We band uh, gang. We band fool. gang. Right, but you're not with everybody right now. But this the goal. The goal, because Biggs just left yesterday. Mm-hmm. He was supposed to be, you know, here too. But this the goal, the main goal. And the whole thing, we want to sign separate deals and a group deal, mm. you know, differently, like something different. That's we, dope. We want to have our own situations, but still have a situation together. When's the last time y'all put a project out together as, as a group, though? It's been a couple of years, like 2017. Mm. Yeah, it's been a couple of years, though. But two, two of the members just got out of jail a year and yeah. a half ago. Damn. That's what's gonna make it special that it's been so long until we, you know, mm. made the next one. That's what's gonna make that one gonna do that. 
Like, you can't just keep doing the same shit mm -hmm. over and over. You feel like you got to make a statement this time around if you're going to do a group album? Has it got to really be some crazy shit? It's going to be crazy. Mm -hmm. It just got to happen when it happen. Yeah. We ain't going to force it. It's going to happen when it happen. For sure. And it's going to be crazy regardless. Right. Yeah. Um. Are you... Uh, Oh yeah, well, you said your homies got out of jail after a year and a half. What do you do to help them celebrate when they get out? Give them money and bitches. Really? But that's all they want. They've been locked up behind bars. Prostitutes Man. or just loose women? Man, bitches. I love <laughs> prostitute bitches. <laughs> real bitches. Uh, really? But you need some real sliders because you got to make sure they're down to fuck some guy who's just on some straight. It's regular bitches crazy out here. mode still. It's regular bitches. Out, you're not. He a don't rapper. know how to talk to girls anymore. He you got a nut a, in two just, seconds. You no, know, you're just not a rapper. Mm. So your life probably not that lit. I know some rappers. Yeah, and they life lit, ain't they? That the opportunity to live like a rapper is right there in front of me. Yeah, but and it's lit though. Like they can I just dabble. have any bitches to just do whatever. Right. Yeah. That's what they come with this shit. You can have a hey, go fuck my boy. He just got out. Okay. This bang gang groupies like that? It's groupies, period. Damn. In the world, every rapper got them. Mm. It's low level groupies, high level, you know? I see some real pieces of shit groupies there. I'm like, holy <laughs> fuck, that dude's fucking you? No cap. Hey, it's you that down too. bad. It's that too, though. It's that too. It, it's that real too. fans know what I'm talking about, too. Yeah. It's like, that damn, too. shit must not be going too good. Yeah. Some niggas, niggas wasn't always rappers and famous. Mm. You feel me? So some niggas got a taste that they already had, and they still gonna keep now that they famous. You feel mm -hmm. me? Like some niggas, that's just dumb. You guys got girls? Yeah, I got a, I got a girl. You in a relationship? Yeah, and I got three baby mamas. Damn, how's that going? Perfect. They're chilling. They ain't tripping on on the gram or nothing. Mm mm. What's the key to keeping them happy? That's for my personal life. Uh, you don't like to put that out everybody there? everybody your tricks. <laughs> and everybody gonna be doing your shit. You guys are like a comedic duo. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. Whatever he so say, I'ma say. Let you know that nah. You couldn't do a family channel with a girl? A family channel? Yeah, like do some Ace, Ace Family shit. What you think? Find yourself a, a model and just have a bunch of kids and make videos about your life at home. That's not for you? Mm-mm, man. That's for my personal life. Mm. It's a big decision to put it out there. No, I just, I'm going to separate my personal life from this music life. That's a clout decision. Mm. That's not no big decision. <laughs> That's clout. Right. Why would you want somebody to follow you around every day? Yeah, or you can film it yourself. Yeah, and that's going to be... Even more clout, because you're going to put the fake shit in there. At least if the motherfuckers who record on you, they're going to put some shit you don't want to be in there sometimes. Mm. Like You're going to put all the bullshit on there. It's not going to last, because nothing sells but real shit and drama. So, yeah. You don't be doing do TikTok that. dances with your girl? Nah. You can't do that? It's not gangster? No, I just haven't did it. What if she asked you, though? What if it's the corniest shit you've ever seen in your life, but she wants you to do it so bad? You got to do it. That's your bitch. <laughs> yeah, well, you a rapper, too. You got to tell her, man, like, this is going to fuck up my brand, my image. It ain't going to be that too crazy, because my bitch a real bitch. She not a goofy. Right. So, you feel me? She not even probably going to do the goofiest shit ever. Mm. Her stuff, so. It ain't going to be no weird shit. Mm. My girl had me dancing around with a fucking pillow inside my shirt, looking like I was pregnant. Yeah. So basically, she said, happy Mother's Day, because you a bitch. <laughs> I should have told her, no. I should have put my foot down. Oh, my yeah, God. Because uh, now when you beef with a nigga, he going to bring that up. Mm. Yeah, watch. Well, <laughs> can you take us through the creation of Whack Jumper? I feel like that was a, a, a huge street classic. I feel like it should have been bigger. We should have had the label behind that one. The yeah. little bros already had that shit done. I already know I'm about to get on this video. We're going to shoot the video right now. You said, let's do it now. Yeah. And my little brothers, though. Everybody that you see us with, we really grew up with each other. Besides the rappers you getting featured from? Yeah, you yeah. don't know them? Uh, that you see, you don't see us with them, though. Mm. You seen us with them one time. Right. You don't see you, them, whack jumper. You see them, I could call them right now. Where you at? What you doing? 
go to their mama's house. They can go to my mama's house. Like that, cool. Damn. Yeah. That's cool right there. Yeah. That's that's the perks of being from the hood. Mm. It's good shit and bad shit. Like some people who ain't who in the hood, they don't have family. So the hood is their family. Right. You feel me? So them them the perks. Like you get siblings being in the hood. Like you get that's that's what happened though. Makes sense. Um one of my other favorite songs in the history of Banging Lonnie was that Detroit to Englewood song and video. That yeah, motherfucker damn near one of my biggest songs. I was just rewatching that, just thinking like, damn. This was my shit for a long time. No faking. That shit that still lit. turn it up, turn the club okay. up when they come on. The one shot video, just fucking, you're just throwing money at the camera. That shit look cool. The one shot was crazy, wasn't it? Yeah. And the cameraman, shout out to my nigga Lace, you feel me, Lace Visuals. He told me it couldn't happen. I'm like, we can shoot this shit in one scene. I'm telling you, it can happen. Like, one scene, he like, man, it can't happen. I'm like, let's just try it. How you going to say it's not? That was your idea. He's, yeah, he mm. said, all right. Come on, come on. Like it wasn't gonna happen. Right. And it almost happened on the first try. We almost got it all the way through. He like, oh, this gonna be hard. What like fucked I up? I told you. Uh, Bino ran up the stairs a little too late and you can see him running up the stairs. It's still kind of in the video a little mm. bit, but it was bad. That go, you feel me? Cause it was the first one. So we kind of fucked up, but he seen that it almost happened all the way. And he like, oh yeah, that's it. That's it. Wow. We can do it. And Crazy. That's how we did it. Do you feel like at this point you gotta like take it to the next level with your videos or, or are you still comfortable just doing, you know, gas station music videos? What the fuck is a gas station video? <laughs> like I, every fucking rap like video running from gun, Detroit? Like running guns. We call them running guns. Right. Hell yeah, running guns. Everybody doing running guns. You see little Dirk is doing running guns. Right. That's what's gonna they get can make it look hard these days. Yeah, sharing locations. Lil Baby and uh, Dirk and Meek Mill. That's a running gun video. When you got that much jewelry and you got your hair dyed blonde, get off. that's like the whole video. My nigga Jimmy just was telling me that the other day. Like, It don't even have to be no video. You feel me? All you could just be doing is getting off the whole video, and that's a video. Right. Like, it don't have to. You don't got to be doing shit. You can just be doing some bossy shit that nobody else is doing, and you won. Right. Yeah. For sure. You guys still doing videos on the block though, like in the neighborhood in front of the house, or is it, is it, is, it, is it, are those days over? It depends. We don't we don't think about that before we do it. It's always spontaneous. What's yeah. the most you ever spent on a video? Like ten thousand. Hmm. What do you get for ten thousand? Versus you know whatever the, the run and the want. gun. Ten thousand gets you whatever you want. I don't know. As a as at a low level, it do. Like, mm -hmm. not at a superstar level, but at a level, we, like, you feel me? They do that. Interesting. Sure. Interesting. Um, okay, what else should we talk about? We got through the dinosaur costume. You don't want to <laughs> talk about getting shot. Anything else come to mind? <laughs> He's Go get that hard to kill, man. Yeah, and that at A6 that just dropped. Right. Like three days ago. And at Ground Season 5 coming. Okay. And the biggest creature. And me and Mom tape coming too. Right. Yeah. That's basically it. Let's then I'm go. about to tape coming, dissing you. Oh, shit. I'm on your ass. Just me or like all white people? Like, no, all no love, jumper. Or, we love all white people. How you gonna people? say white people? You what guys do you don't know any white people. You yeah. crazy? <laughs> Our cameraman is white. Wow. Look. It's look like at me it. saying my lawyer is Jewish. Yeah, my cameraman is not really because all my cameramans are black. Mm. There's one of them right here, Jimmy Whispers. Right. Even Shooter Jimmy. Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, he just shot V's, let it fly. Oh. Yeah. That's a dangerous one. One of my though. best friends is a white, white person, bro. And they own half of Who's Detroit. your favorite white person? My favorite white person? Yeah. Howie Mandel? Man, my favorite white Drew person Carey. is Ronnie Illich. Who's that? No faking. Who I just look him about. up. Sports guy or something? Just no. look him up when we leave this interview. Ronnie Illich? You want me to look it up right now? Illich. Let's go. Yeah. We're going to figure it out. No, Let's... just look up Illich. The last name, Illich. Just look up that. I'm going like I L L. Uh, 
uh, I don't know, man. I L L I D G E. I don't know, man. <laughs> Is it this guy, Joseph Village? <laughs> Come on, ain't for you to know, P. It, it ain't. We'll get it later. He's on. not Googleable. You're having me Google people who aren't Googleable. No, he's definitely Googleable. You just not smart. I think you just aren't spelling it right. Yeah, probably so. I but they own the whole Detroit. Oh. <laughs> Basically, it's really? a big word. Yeah. Well, I definitely want to know him then. Yeah. But you're no, not cool you enough. No, you're not. I fuck with Ronnie cool Coleman. You, what? So, you, look, you, like, you cool play enough. too much. Yeah. No, I'm fucking with the ops. You serious? You don't like fuck with ops. You can <laughs> fuck with them. <laughs> we don't care about no ops. You crazy? If somebody puts out a diss song aimed at you, do you listen to it? Or, or how many times do you listen to it? You, you, you listen drive to around banging that shit to see if it's you hard? To it. <laughs> you gotta listen to my diss mix tape I'm about to make. You about to do a whole diss tape? A whole tape. Really? This and everybody. Who who else gonna get it? You the intro. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Adam the intro. Just me? Yeah. <laughs> no, we gonna put Adam twenty two. What about I see the where you get the twenty two from? <laughs> you know. Where you get the twenty two from? It's cool because if I don't tell him, it sounds like it's a possibility that it's like a gun thing, right? Well, you just keep a little <laughs> diligent on you, a little deuce deuce. It's actually totally random. A deuce deuce, a nigga bury your ass. With I was fifteen and I that made a username on a website. A deuce, deuce. Oh, yeah. Okay. I had the deuce deuce and the bubble goose. Uh, I had a deuce. <laughs> Man, what? I oh, want God. You to, <laughs> I want you to have a deuce deuce and a bubble goose right now with all these switches going around. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll put buried. the switch on the deuce deuce. Yeah, right. Put the switch on the deuce deuce. <laughs> yeah, right. I want to see that one. I'm gonna see that one. We're having a lot of good ideas Man, right now. You're gonna be on the internet. You gotta, show me your switch. Let's see it. No. Nah, I don't know nobody with a switch. Oh, you're out of town. Uh, you want to go to Detroit, Adam? Even if I was in No, time. there's too many switches. No, it ain't. No, it ain't Bring man. the camera. Switches through. and scissor. That's all y'all are on out there, no huh? Switch. You don't be seeing no switches in no Detroit niggas videos. You for real? Do you? I don't know. I'm Look not it up. I don't really have the eagle eye for the switch in every video I watch yet. That's what I'm telling you. I got to start paying closer attention. Yeah, you do. Detroit, <laughs> Michigan is not having that, man. They lock your ass up for that. Really? Even if you put it on Instagram. I'm pretty sure in Chicago they'll lock your ass up for it, too. They're just doing it anyway. Uh, they probably they like, shoot the video and then they hide them and they put them in the backyard, cover it up with dirt. You would still go to jail. Mm. Just for having it in the video? Yeah, you know how many people felons. On yeah. probation, all type of crazy. There's a lot of people in jail for stuff they did in rap videos for sure. Yeah. That'll happen for sure. Definitely. Yeah. And some of them are going crazy and some of them are really like being treated unfairly realistically. Yeah. Everybody in jail, I feel like, except for rapists and shit, is, shouldn't be in jail. Mm. Murderers shouldn't be in jail, because sometimes a nigga need to get his ass killed. Now, if it was in a different, you feel me? Now, if it was like a kid or something, you deserve to go to jail. But if it's a nigga on the street, you know, free, some niggas need to get free killed. Free the murderers. Yeah. That didn't hurt no kids mm. or rape no women and kill them and do no crazy shit. Free the niggas who killed niggas because they had to. That's what we going to say. You know? Everybody Loosen knows. up those self-defense laws. If he's a buster, if he's I mean, a buster. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this had to happen. <laughs> Yikes. No cap. Oh no cap. All right. You guys good? Yeah. All right. I told him that we started this shit. No, what you want me to say? Like that, when he touched on the whole key shit, like, them niggas is from the suburbs. They're not from Detroit. They're not Detroit. <laughs> uh, That's what the people going to want to come to see. Yeah, it's good. Go ahead. The best listeners are going to tune into. Maybe we could subtitle that part. Like, yeah. At the end of the day, like, that's what they want to know. Yeah. Y'all been quiet for too long. Y'all got really discredited like they been trying to do y'all. It's good. Come on, Adam. Yikes. All right. <laughs> no, we subtitling that. <laughs> Appreciate you guys. Uh, no jumper. Coolest podcast in the world. Check us out on YouTube, TikTok, Patreon, all that shit. Like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe to the No Jumper Clips channel. Nojumper.com if you want to support.
and go uh, tune these guys up on YouTube and other streaming platforms that you like to listen to music on. Yeah. Add me on Instagram, B-G-M-A-S-O-E underscore. That way. Yeah. Man, Let's go. BG Lonnie KOD, man. Go get all that. All the projects we done dropped on all our streaming platforms. Yeah. People ever think you work for King of Diamonds? Huh? King of Diamonds? Yeah. Uh, fuck all that. You never had a confusion? Let's with talk that? about. Oh, you talking about with the KOD? <laughs> yeah. Oh, he talking about. I don't think he's talking King about King of Diamonds. KOD. <laughs> My nigga don't work at KOD, man. Man, you they crazy. Know that. Yeah. Probably own that bitch. You can get some money promoting, you know? Yeah. Hell yeah, they need to book a nigga. I'm saying. Yeah. Let where us the, buy one of them bitches or something. Where the bag at? Look at that yeah. water going down. Everybody, drink some water. Drink some water. And don't be like Adam, man. Get your dick hot. No cap. Yeah, get tested. Appreciate y'all. <laughs>